Hello Bio4 and welcome to part two of urinary system. So we're going to move on to basic anatomy here where you have a picture of a kidney, right kidney, left kidney, slightly more cranial, uh, two ureters transporting urine towards the urinary bladder and then the urethra. So two kidneys, two ureters, one urinary bladder, and one urethra, okay? Also on top of the kidney is the adrenal gland. We'll see more about that later. Um, this is just written for you as a reminder when you look at your notes. Okay, so the location of the kidneys, we say that they lie against the dorsal body wall, but the name for that is retroperitoneal, retroperitoneal. So retro means behind peritoneal, behind the peritoneum, which is the lining of your, of your abdominal wall. So it's beneath that parietal peritoneum. Okay, it's in the superior lumbar region and pro protected partially by the rib cage. So let's look at that. Here's the rib cage and they're not entirely protected, but yes, here are these ribs that are um, closing over the kidney. Some soccer players still get a kicked in the kidney, very painful, but there is a little bit of protection there. Okay, um, <clears throat> this is more of the anterior view again. Kidneys, ureters coming in. The ureter feeds in from the posterior side here of the urinary bladder, and then urethra in the female. The kidneys is surrounded by three layers. So the renal capsule itself is the one that's most adhered on to the tissue of the actual kidney. And this is a nice picture because it's showing it peeled off a little bit. It's quite easy to peel off. This is a forceps doing that. And it's a layer of collagen fibers on the outer surface of the kidney. But even beyond that, there is also an adipose capsule. So the layer of fat surrounds the renal capsule. So your kidneys are actually quite protected by a layer of fat. So the order would be then from out to in, you have adipose capsule, then you have the renal capsule, and then more interiorly, you have a renal fascia. So we need to anchor these kidneys against your abdominal, posterior abdominal wall so that you jump around and they're not floating around. And um, that's done by the renal fascia. So in this diagram, here are the kidneys, and all this is renal fascia. So there are collagen fibers that are extending. When it's posteriorly, they're going to the body wall, and when it's anterior, it's towards the peritoneum. So let's enlarge that. And this would be that renal fascia. And this would be peritoneum. So this one is coming towards the peritoneum. And then, I'm sorry, and then in the other direction, it's coming back to the posterior lining of the abdomen. Renal fascia. Structure of the kidney, we're going to look at this um, structure called the hilus. The hilus is what's opening into the renal sinus. Sinus is all this dip here, this is the dip, dip, dip. So I could actually put a forceps down into this little holy region, that's a renal sinus. So that's the very center there um, of the kidney and feeding into there is gonna be the renal artery, the renal vein and the ureter. So three tubes that are feeding into this space here, which is called the renal sinus. Okay, we're gonna distinguish, like we did in lab, renal cortex and renal medulla, and in the medulla are the renal pyramids, the renal papilla, and what is the renal pelvis. So these are just words for you right now. Let's look with pictures. Okay, renal cortex is this outer rind. All this area here would be renal cortex. Renal medulla then is what's left behind. 
all this other area here is renal medulla. So the outside and the inside, essentially, essentially renal cortex and renal medulla. Um, the other structures you needed to see were the renal pyramids with the renal papillae. So the renal pyramids, these little triangles, are the renal pyramids, and the tips of each one of these is the renal papilla. Okay, pyramid labeled here, and then papilla, the tip. So each one of these are little filtration devices that are going to manufacture urine and sort of, let me get my pen, and it's going to bring, you know, from this one urine into here, from this one urine into there, and like all of them do, this is all going to accumulate here from the urine manufactured in all these little pyramids, and then eventually here into the ureter. Okay, I think we covered all those structures. What we want to go now is microscopic. So microscopically, we want to see exactly where that filtering is happening. And that is done in the nephron. So we're going to call the nephron the functional unit of the kidney because this is where the filtering is actually happening. So we have 1.25 million nephrons in those different pyramids, okay, separated into the pyramids. And it's made up of this nephron, if you had to draw it, it's made up of two main structures, a glomerulus and all the tubules. So we're going to call them the renal tubules. So let's see that in pictures. Again, names without pictures don't help. Ah, there's that picture that I showed you right in the beginning, part one, and that is a glomerulus, a knot of capillaries. And if you see hundreds of them, you'd see them like this all together, associated with its blood vessels. So this is a capillary bed. Okay, this is where these capillaries that are quite leaky are going to be filtering out that urine. So before I keep on and show you the rest of the nephron, we're going to stop now and put that onto the next video. Thanks for listening.